Hi students, this is Sarita Umesh. Today I'm going to discuss Unit 6 of Class 12 and the chapter name is General Principles and Processes of Isolation of Elements. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and please press the bell icon so you will get the notification as soon as I, end, I upload a video. Now, you know, this chapter, at a stretch, I'm not going to teach. I'm going to divide this chapter into five parts, into five parts. And first part, a few topics I'll discuss, the basics. Then in the second, third, we'll go like that. It'll be easy for you to understand or grasp a 10 minutes or a 12 minutes video easily. So today I'll be discussing the first topic of this chapter that is difference between minerals and ores. Then certain terminologies, certain terms we are using in this chapter frequently. Third one, the different process involved in the extraction of metal. Fourth one will be some important metals and their ores. This is my intention by posting a video that is general principles and processes of isolation of elements part one. Shall we start? So first I'm going to discuss the first topic that is difference between ores and minerals. So you know ores and minerals, this, these two terms you are hearing from your lower classes. But I'll take a small example then I'll explain the difference between these two. So I'm taking sodium metal. My intention is to extract sodium metal. So definitely I'll search in the nature what are the different forms of sodium in nature you know that sodium is a very reactive metal its outermost shell has one electron it does not need that electron because it's unstable it will lose its one electron and complete its octet and form Na plus so sodium you understood we are not going to get that in the free form in the nature it will be always in the combined form for example sodium sulfate sodium sulfite sodium chloride sodium carbonate you can see all these different different forms of sodium metal but not in free state in a compound form so all these naturally occurring substances present in the earth crust obtained by mining are called minerals. So example NaCl, Na2SO4, Na2SO3, Na2S all these are sodium's minerals. But you know that from sodium chloride we can extract the metal sodium profitably. That mineral of sodium is called ore of sodium. So ore of sodium is sodium chloride, which is the cheapest source of sodium. Because you know that 3 by 4th of our earth is covered with water, especially oceans and sea. So sea water is the richest source of sodium chloride. And you know how to make sodium chloride from sea water just by a technique, simple technique called evaporation. Now, you understood the difference between ores and minerals. So ores are all naturally occurring forms of a particular element in the earth crust obtained by mining is called minerals. What are ores? Ores are those minerals from which we can extract the metal profitably. Now the second topic that is some important terminologies the first terminology is metallurgy metallurgy 
what is metallurgy to extract a metal from its ore we have to go through a long process behind all these processes some scientific principles are there all these scientific and technological processes involved in the extraction of a metal together called metallurgy so metallurgy of sodium what is the meaning from the min from the ore till we get the metal what all procedures we are following together known as metallurgy of sodium the next term is gang g a n g u e gang what is gang gang is the unwanted substances gangs are the unwanted substances present in the ore so the unwanted substances present in the ore is called gang and you know that we have to remove this gang from the ore to extract the metal and that removal is called concentration of ore it's called concentration of ore that we will study in detail but to remove the gang we can add some substances or we can use some substances that substances are called flux so gang is the impurity and flux is the substance we are using to remove the gang now this gang and flux mix together and form a molten substance that substance is called slag it's called slag so gang plus flux is called slag in detail we'll study i just introduce these terms so gang flux slag and metallurgy these are the important terms then i'm going to discuss certain important metals and their ores the most abundant metal in the earth crust is aluminum and the ore of aluminum are bauxite and kaolinite so these are the two ores of aluminum important ores there are many ores but these are the two important ores now the second abundant metal in the earth crust that is iron iron has so many ores two oxide ores of iron are hematite and magnetite apart from this we have siderite then we have iron pyrites iron py pyrites color is like gold so we call it as fool's gold iron pyrites is called fool's gold and the formula is fes2 formula is fes2 next metal that is zinc zinc three different minerals we are discussing first one is zinc blend zinc blend formula is zns then calamine you must have heard lactocalamine right it's a lotion we normally use to reduce the rashes itching on the skin then uh, to reduce the pigmentation on your face or a body parts and when you get the chicken pox and all we will have marks to remove that marks we'll apply lactocalamine so calamine is a ore of zinc it is zinc carbonate which is present in lactocalamine lotion then the third ore of zinc it's zinc site zinc site that is zinc oxide now the next one important metal that is copper copper pyrites malachite cuprite all these are ores of copper even copper glands is there all these are different ores of copper now the next topic what i said that is what are the different steps involved in the metallurgy of a metal metallurgy of a element the first process you are getting the ore from the nature it won't be in the pure form it's just like a rock like structure so what you are supposed to do first supposed to 
powder it you have to powder it into fine powders that process is called sintering or pulverization sintering or pulverization after you get the sintered ore you are supposed to do the removal of gang gang i told you the impurity is present that method is called concentration of ore benefication or ore dressing these these three terminologies meaning is same ore dressing benefication concentration of ore this is the second process third process is extraction of the metal from the ore concentrated ore after the extraction the metal which you are getting will not be in the pure form so you have to purify it so the last step is called refining of the metal so today you understood difference between ores and minerals certain terminologies like metallurgy gang flux and slag then you learned the different ores of metals important metals then you learned different processes involved in the metallurgical process different steps involved so hope this much is clear these are the basic things and one more thing you have to understand you must have seen many gemstones all these gemstones are impure form of aluminum oxide al2o3 in this al2o3 different metals can be present for example if chromium is present we call it as ruby so what is ruby aluminum oxide and chromium when cobalt is present with al2o3 you call it as sapphire you call it as sapphire so you have to understand one thing gemstones are al2o3 impure forms of al2o3 hope this much is clear please subscribe my channel part 2 will be releasing soon